Morning Year 5 and your grammar task today is we're returning and revising apostrophes. So remember what we spoke about. There was the possessive apostrophe to show ownership. The boy's bike. Um, Jack's book. Okay, so possessive apostrophe, show ownership. And also contractions. It's used where letters have been taken out. So do not becomes don't. Okay? So if I was to look at this one, Lily's dog wouldn't run. There's actually two missing apostrophes there. First, there should be one there because it's Lily's dog. She owns the dog. And then wouldn't run. Well, we've got the contraction here where would not has been pushed into one word and O should be replaced by an apostrophe. Your task today is actually to think about and plan your wishing tale. So you may want to think about where the wish comes from. Is it the genie in the lamp? Is it a star? Is it a wishing well? And if you want there's some more ideas from stories down there, it's always good to have that bank of ideas. And then you're going to plan out your story using this grid here. Remember that it's a plan, so it's just like a skeleton. It does not need a lot of detail, just the basic structure with the main events. So I've had a go at my own here. So we start with the, the, the pattern there. Main characters in a safe, homely setting, one dreaming of a fortune or change. So I've used bullet points to structure my plan here. Staying with Nan and his cousin Deb. Bored, staring at the rain. Dreaming of being an adult. Okay, I've not explained anything there because I'll do that when I come to writing it. The next paragraph, an object arrives with a too good to be true promise or wish. Kev and Deb decide to play hide and seek. Kev finds a jack-in-the-box toy that's shaking. Okay, so they've got the introduction of my almost wishing object really. The next one, one character warns against but the other character ignores the warning and makes a wish. Nothing happens yet. So I've got there, Kev winds the handle and a genie pops out, offers one wish and a warning. You'll notice that I've not put in what the warning is. There's no need, this is the skeleton. I'll add that when I come to write it. Deb warns Kev, he ignores her. Kev wishes to be an adult. Then we've got here, wish comes true but with unforeseen consequences. There's all sorts of consequences to being an adult. So we've got next morning, Kev wakes up, he's an adult. Has a wife, children and a job. Okay, so he's got all of these responsibilities and he realises that being an adult just is not that fun. The character wants to use another wish to put things right, but the object has disappeared. He finds Deb. They find and wind up the box again. Nothing comes out except a whisper. Okay, and again, I haven't got detail there. I'll do that when I come to write. Best of luck.